hey guys and welcome to another hair dye video <laughs> before we move on to the video i just want to say if you are new to this channel i would love if you could hit the subscribe button it would mean a lot our family is growing we're getting there and it's amazing so love to you all <laughs> i know it's not been long since i last did a hair dye video but here we are again doing another hair dye video <laughs> so basically my last one was me dyeing my hair ombre so like a teal to purple this is already what my hair looks like it's faded so bad like i think because i didn't go about it properly so the purple wasn't staying and all the teal is just like ugh, my whole hair is just the same color now and it's just faded to like a weird minty blonde and i'm not loving it right now so that's why we're here with another hair dye video <laughs> So I was being that indecisive, I ended up putting a post on Facebook to say help me decide which hair colour to do because I didn't know. <laughs> so we've ended up going with purple, so I want to do a lilac. So I wanna, my plan is to do darker roots and then the rest are lighter purple. That's the plan, whether it'll work or not I have no idea. But it's interesting because normally at the moment like I, I bleach my hair, but because I don't want to bleach it too much and it's weird because I was looking at videos on YouTube of purple hair and it was a video from Guy Tang I think his name is from ages ago and he actually used a hair colour remover and it removed this girl's hair that she had like a similar colour to me like a teal that was like stained in her hair and they used a hair colour remover and it worked which it wouldn't normally work on semi-permanent stained hair so instead of bleaching it today, I ordered this off Amazon, a hair colour stripper. So I read up on it and there's a hair colour stripper and a hair colour remover. And the remover is for permanent box dyes, so that's why I didn't get this one. I got get the other one, I got this one instead. So we're going to have a go with this and we're going to see what happens. I'm hoping it doesn't smell too bad because I've used hair colour removers in the past and they smell so bad. Those of you who have used them will know what I'm talking about. They smell like egg and it's disgusting. <laughs> so I'm hoping this one smells okay. But I've got a couple of boxes of this. So I'm just going to put this on my hair, see how it goes. And in terms of hair colour, now... I always go with Manic Panic. I, a couple of times I've tried Crazy Colour. They just seem to wash out really quickly. I was kind of going on Amazon. I was like, okay, I want something for Prime. I didn't know if I could get anything in time. And I wasn't sure on the Manic Panic colours. So I just decided to just push the boat out and try the directions. I've got two, they look kind of very similar, but I've got Violet and Lilac. So this one's more of a pinky purple and this one's more bluey purple. So I've got these two shades. I've mixed a couple of colours together. And we're going to give these a go. So I think I've tried these like once before, but it was years ago. So I can't even remember how good they were. So I'm going to give them a go, see how these work as... I always use Manic Panic, so I thought we'll try something different today. Without further ado, I'm not going to talk too much because I already have. <laughs> so we're just going to go and get on with it. And then I'm going to go and start off by putting this on my hair and hope it doesn't smell. <laughs> So it's safe to say that the colour stripper didn't really work too much. I mean, I feel like it's maybe a little bit lighter, but it's not really done too much, which I kind of had a feeling considering my hair is stained like this teal colour. I feel like that hair colour stripper is probably better for natural hair colour, like if you just want to lighten your hair a little bit, but it's lightened my roots a little bit, which is nice. Like I said, so it's probably better on... Um, natural hair but it doesn't matter too much because my hair is light enough to go ahead and put the purple on anyway so and basically purple is kind of opposite green ish <laughs> on the color wheel so hopefully it'll just it'll work anyway and it'll be fine so yeah shame about that but it's okay it should be light enough to put the color on so let's just go ahead Tell me the truth. I'm still in love. Tell me the truth. I'm still in love. 
So this is the final colour that my hair has actually turned out. On the camera it does actually show how shiny it is. And I never really noticed until just now. Obviously I've got my little ring light on because it's kind of evening. Because yeah, it's now like quarter to ten because I kind of actually just didn't film the outro for this video. I just kind of dyed my hair and then we had to go out. So, <laughs> But yeah, the lighting actually makes it look really shiny. Like my plan was to dye the roots a bit darker and the rest of my hair but I kind of just went with it and I've just dyed it all like it it kind of wasn't too different like the first shade that I put on compared to the rest of it so I kind of feel like I needed to make this lighter and that a bit darker but that's something that I can do over time so like when this bit washes out I can just kind of let that fade and then put some more in the like dark colour in the roots if I wanted to which might be something I could potentially do but overall I actually think this colour is so nice and yeah, sorry about my face, it's just quarantine face. <laughs> but yeah, overall I think the colour has actually turned out really well. I feel like it's gone on really evenly, I don't think I've missed any patches. Considering it was kind of a rush job and I just literally threw it on. It's actually gone really well, it's so shiny, like it looks really nice. I'm just hoping that even though the lightning didn't work and my hair was still teal i'm just hoping that when i wash my hair that it doesn't then fade to like this weird teal color underneath because that'll be a shame i'm hoping that it does stick because even if it fades to like a lighter purple and it almost goes a bit silvery purple i'm okay with that i think that'll look quite nice here's to hoping anyway but yeah so overall this color looks really nice i love a fresh color i love new color day like <laughs> I, it, especially with the fact that it was so faded and I hated the colour before and now it just feels so fresh and it's just it's nice I like having a new colour but yeah anyway if you did enjoy my video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to this channel and I'll see you guys soon hopefully not in another hair dye video <laughs> goodbye